Dear you, welcome back to another video. Today it's finally time for another realistic portrait. I'm very excited for you to see this one. Today's subject is the wonderful Timothy Chalamet. I decided to draw him because I finally watched the movie Call Me By Your Name. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know I finished this book a little while ago, and I thought it was just okay. Good, but not a new favorite. But oh boy, did I love the movie. For some reason, seeing the story visually made me appreciate it even more. I'm not saying the movie is better, or vice versa, but I think they're both good. But the movie definitely made me like the book and the story more. And actually, I'm planning on rereading the book too, see how much more I like it now. Now that I have visuals and music and stuff in my head. Anyway, rant over now. This particular portrait took me two hours and two minutes, which is pretty average for me for a portrait, although sometimes it can make me six or eight hours. But what wasn't super average for this one is that I finished this in all in one day. I scattered over three or four sessions, but I finished all of me on September 12th of year. As you saw, for this specific one, I just traced over the reference, which I don't usually do. But for this one, I was so excited to render it that I didn't want to spend time getting the sketch right. So I don't usually do this, but I made a for this one. Overall, drawing his face was a pleasant time. It was fairly easy compared to some of my other pieces because the skin is pretty smooth and I didn't have to draw a ton of freckles. But what wasn't so easy about this one was the forehead and the hair. The combination of the lighting and Timothy's messy hair was something I wasn't looking forward to drawing. So you see, I saved that and did it last. As for the way I accomplished this, basically my technique for portrait is to just make the really short lines or small circles really close together to blend the colors together. I like how this looks because it allows for more realism than I usually have in my art. It just allows a very nice style if you can draw. I feel like it's almost like I painted a realist version of a realistic doll of the subject, which I thoroughly enjoy. I start out with a block of mid tone color and make a layer on top of that, which is cliffing mask, so that I can shade without worrying about the overall shape of the subject. Then I start rendering. I basically just block in a couple of colors at a time, color pick them for the reference, and then I blend it until I'm happy with it, using the techniques I mentioned before. Then I repeat until I'm done with the section I'm working on. Speaking of sections, you'll be able to see what I do to make my rendering easier and to make the process less overwhelming in general. It is pull a small section of the reference, just copy pasting a small part of it and moving it to the side, and using only that small section of the reference at a time. I have a feeling that this also contributes to the slightly plastic style I was talking about. I started with the eye on the right, for no particular reason, that's just what I was feeling, and I had the nose in the other eye. These are the things I tend to start with on all of my portraits. I'm not sure if it's because I find them the most challenging, or the most fun, or what, but I do know it starts off with a piece on a good foot if I can get them right. The most challenging parts for this piece were, as I said, the hair, but also the hand. Hands are just hard in general, but I found this one not super fun to paint, but I still got it done, and I'm probably happy with it. After I rendered the face, I moved on to the hand, shoulders, and book, and then I tackled the hair. I started trying to follow the reference in the sketch, but I was having trouble getting it, getting it to look how I wanted it to, so as sometimes we usually do with the hair, I joined it. And I think it turned out alright in the end. And with the hair done, I'm done with this portrait. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and this art, and I hope you come back for the next one. Please leave a comment letting me know what the best part of your day was, and with that, love you, Kinsey.